Many police specialists, even the Attorney General, agree that we need better ways to handle mental health crises. And Naomi Coles listened in on new proposals announced today, and she joins us with more. Naomi? The state, of journal, the state attorney general led that press conference today, but plenty of groups have been working on these types of proposals for years. Now it's up to lawmakers to act. There's got to be a better way to deal with, with people that are going through a mental health crisis. A process that drags on for hours, especially in rural counties like Grant. It's not uncommon for us down here to have that whole ordeal take 10 to 16 hours. It can make a person in mental crisis feel like a criminal. Somebody is going through a mental health crisis, are you worsening it? by placing them handcuffs in the back of a squad car. The Wisconsin Emergency Detention has long been a sore spot for law enforcement and mental health advocates. Patients spend hours in police custody waiting in hospitals for medical clearance and hours more in a squad car driving to Winnebago Mental Health Institute. One of the things that we have seen is a steep increase over the years in admissions to Winnebago Mental Health. This is an issue that is impacting communities all around the state. That's the reasoning behind a broad set of proposals to overhaul the system, unveiled by state leaders today. But what is really critical here is that we have a system that needs to be reformed. Those include regional crisis stabilization facilities, peer support centers, mobile crisis teams, more training, and that's just to name a few. What we haven't seen and what I think is really critical is a comprehensive, holistic approach to this issue. And that's what uh, this set of policy recommendations is designed to be a roadmap for. But to get behind any of these solutions, you need lawmakers willing to spend the money. NAMI Wisconsin believes these could save money. Effective legislation and, and investment in this would actually save money in the long run. But in the political world of competing priorities and limited funds, finding a solution could take a while. And the question is, what priority is it for our, our current budget cycle? The governor's budget proposals do include some funding for some of those solutions, for example, regional crisis centers. Attorney General Josh Call, he's hoping to get bipartisan support. He says he's talked to lawmakers, they are interested in these solutions, and hopefully he can get a majority of lawmakers on board for this budget cycle.